and thank you for joining us today at the Taubman Museum of Art for our Art Spotlight. My name is Katrina and I have with me Dr. Patrick Shaw Cable, Chief Curator and Deputy Director of Exhibitions and Collections here at the museum. Hi Patrick. Hi. Hello. Uh, so we're here in the exhibition Huntopia, uh, works by Hunt Slonim. Um, and we're taking a look at this particular piece. Patrick, why don't you tell us a little bit sure. about this work? As Katrina said, we're in the exhibition Huntopia, works by Hunt Slonim, but then a lot of historical works combined as well. This happens to be one of many works by the artist in the exhibition. Most of them are recent, but this is one of two from our permanent collection, the Tottenham Museum of Art's permanent collection, that actually date from the 80s. So it's an earlier period when, in part, you can see through the style, he was inspired by folk art, for example, but this subject, he may look like a South American gaucho, but it's St. Francis of Assisi uh, in the midst of a lot of some of the exotic animals as well. So it's not a traditional depiction of St. Francis of Assisi. But Hunt, uh, he loves saints, he loves pagan mystics, he loves spiritualists, so a lot of times he combines them in interesting ways or tells their stories in new ways in his pictures. Um, yeah, I love, I love how he's depicted um, St. Francis here. Yes. As you said, he kind of looks like um, he should be wearing some sort of hat there, but he's really gone off of a lot of iconic images where they have the halo, right? And then I believe he's yes, got it's a monk. actually his halo showing his sainthood. Oh, fantastic. And, and these two figures are interesting, these two monkeys. Yeah, I feel and like I've seen face. this before. Yeah, that is the face. If you repeated that many, many, many times and abstracted it, then Hunt started creating what he called his Guardian series. So this is a more recent work. But it's made up of over a hundred, probably, of these monkey heads or monkey faces, and they became guardian figures for him. And what do you mean by guardian figure? Good question. I think for Hunt, well, he's very committed to the natural world. He lives with 60 plus birds, exotic birds for the most part, in his studio. And he really considers birds, for example, compared to humans, more spiritual than humans. So he's very, and he's traveled a lot many exotic places, but I think exotic animals for him are sort of um, an innocent kind of pure natural symbol. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why he calls them guardians. I love the texture in his artwork. Yeah. He works with really thick paints um, and it actually almost looks a little impressionistic in nature. Um, do you happen to know any artists that Hunt has been inspired by or um, a good question. Artwork that he enjoys? I would say it's kind of eclectic, just like his taste in uh, decorating is. He combines historical and contemporary. And you could also call him an expressionist in some respect. Absolutely. With that really broad brushwork. As I said, this kind of looks somewhat to folk art mm -hmm. and kind of the simplifications, sort of intentional naivete of, for example, the face of St. Francis. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then this one brings up another interesting artist, even though he can paint really broadly, uh, his work also looks back to Andy Warhol in terms of its repetition. He's been inspired by Warhol and some of its more popular cultural references. But then unlike Warhol, he used, you know, uh, photographic imagery or very slick looking design, Hunt uses a much more broader handling with his repetition. And his use of color is just fantastic. Yes, I think he loves color. Color everywhere. Deep color, yes, for the most part. I love that so much. And now, in this exhibition, all of the walls are painted really bright colors, and that's for a particular reason, right? Yes. It's the first American Museum show, actually, where Hunt was given full reign for his deck, what I call decorative sensibilities. Not only do we include over 100, probably, works by him, paintings, and some drawings, we also have historical furniture, but we also chose to paint every wall different to make these different vignettes within the gallery space. And that looks back to what Hunt does in a lot of the mansions and plantations that he acquires. He'll paint them really bright colors and then juxtapose his own work with historical work. Right, and I think um, he said before that he doesn't like hanging paintings on a white wall. He says no. you can see them much better when they're on a bright, colorful yeah. wall, which I've learned now is definitely the case. Um, it, it definitely pops here. Right. And this is actually a really great example of a, a vignette that's been sort of created. And so Hunt had um, 
full reign, right, as far as selecting furniture pieces and putting them all together. So yeah. he's not only artist extraordinaire, but also interior designer. Yes, in a very eclectic fashion. And he likes to say he doesn't do interior decoration because it's so unique. But it is true too, this exhibition's good if you wanted um, hints for accent walls in your home, there's so many bright colors. Uh, it encourages you yeah. to be bold. Yes, exactly. And mix the old with the new. Exactly. He likes a lot of antiques too, yes. right? Which we also see sort of in his painting by hearkening back to um, different artists throughout yes. history as inspiration for what he does. How very cool. Well, this was fantastic, Patrick. Thank you for joining me thank today. You. And thank, thank you. you, friends at home. We'll see you next time.